Hey everyone, I recently did a video on Ramdev Agrawal and his team at Motila Loswal Annual Wealth Creation Report of 2020 where they analyzed 25 biggest multipackers stocks in last 25 years and identified key parameters that made them the multipackers. Based on the research of 25 years, they identified 25 stocks for next 25 years. In continuation to my research, I analyzed 10 bagger portfolio of Ambit Capital that has been publishing 10 bagger portfolio report annually for the last 12 years and the latest report was published in February 23. So let us look at research report from Ambit Capital and try to understand their 10 bagger portfolio strategy. Before we look at the 10 bagger portfolio, let us first try to understand Ambit Capital framework to build that 10 bagger portfolio. So Ambit Capital believes that the holy grail for companies to generate multi bagger return is expansion in ROCE, that is return on capital employed. It basically measures the efficiency of a company in using its capital to generate profit. A higher ROC shows that the company generates higher return for every rupee of capital employed in the business. If there is expansion in ROC, it means company is generating higher profits from every rupee of capital employed. It means the efficiency of the company to generate profit is increasing. Although here please note that this framework doesn't consider BFSI sector that is banking and financial services because ROC is not applicable on BFSI sector. The reason is banking sector runs on money borrowed from depositor and hence you can't use ROC on banking and finance. So this 10 bagger portfolio of Ambit Capital does not include BFSI companies. Now let us look at the framework that drives the expansion in ROCE. So in step number one, they identify companies that are doing incremental capex year on year basis. For instance, in 2023 analysis, they shortlisted companies with improvement in capex to depreciation during FY19 to 22 period versus FY16 to 19 period. In step two, they shortlist companies on the basis of conversion of investments to sale. Basically, they shortlist companies that are showing growth in sale. In step three, they shortlist companies that are showing pricing discipline. That is increase in PBIT margin. That is profit before interest and tax. And companies that shows improvement in capital employed turnover. Capital employed turnover helps to determine the ability of a firm to generate revenues from the capital employed. In step four, they look at the balance sheet discipline that include decline in debt to equity and improvement in equity dilution. In step five, they look at cash generation from operation. This cash is further deployed to generate more sales and profits. Based on the framework, Ambit Capital has come up with 23 stocks from BSC 500 list in its 10 bagger portfolio of version 12.0. This list include Ultratech Cement, Nestle India, Tata Steel, Hindalco, Dr. Reddy, SRF, Abbott India, Page Industries, Balkrishna Industry, Tata Alexi, Astral, Persistent System, l and Technology, Coromandel International, Deepak Nitrite, Gland Pharma, Ipka Lab, India Mart, Jindal Stainless, Chambal Fertilizer, Cams, JK Lakshmi Cement, and Praj Industry. Among these 23 companies, 8 companies are repeat from previous list that include Nestle India, Hindalco, SRF, Pal Krishna, LNT Technology, Coromandel, Deepak Nitrite, and India Mart. You can also see the greatness score for 21 and 22. For instance, Nestle India greatness score in 21 was 100%, it got dropped to 92% in 22. Companies that have shown improvement in greatness score include Ultratech Cement, Hindalco, Dr. Reddy, SRF, Abbott India, Tata Alexi. Persistent System has received a perfect 100% score in 22. Then Deepak Nitrite, Jindal Stainless, Chambal Fertilizer, Cams, JK Lakshmi Cement and Praj Industries. In terms of ROCE, the highest ROCE in 2022 is of Nestle India, followed with Page Industry and Cams. In terms of improvement in ROCE, the list include Tata Steel, Hindalco, SRF, Abbott India, Page Industry, Tata Alexi, Persistent System, l and Technology, Coromandel International, Deepak Nitrite, Jindal Stainless, Cams and Praj Industry. Then Ambit Capital has done valuation analysis of these stocks and bucketed them into Attractive Valuation, Moderate Valuation and Rich Valuation. In Attractive Valuation bucket, it includes Ultratech Cement, Dr. Reddy's Lab, Coromandel International, Gland Pharma, Ipka Lab, India Mart and Cams. As per Ambit Capital, these six stocks are cheap as per history across price to earning, price to book value and enterprise value to EBITDA. Within moderate valuation, it includes Tata Steel, Hindalco, Abbott India, Page Industry, Deepak Nitrite, Chambal Fertilizer, JK Lakshmi Cement and Praj Industry that are cheap on two out of three parameter and just have rich valuation. 
Then they have compared the previous 11th list against the latest 12th list on valuation front and identified that 70% of their last portfolio had companies with expensive valuation. But this time 38% have rich valuation. It means in 2022 list, the valuation has fallen post correction in entire year of 2022. Now if you look at the breakup of last 11 portfolios versus latest portfolio in terms of the large cap, mid cap and small cap, the latest portfolio has highest proportion of large cap stocks against any of the previous 10 bagger list. Then Ambit Capital has also identified list of 10 bagger portfolio from sub BSC 500 universe that include names like Triveni Engineering, Gujarat Ambuja Export, Paradeep Phosphate, CMS Infosystem, Rajatan Global Wire, Gravita India, Maxen Pharma, Tata Metallic, Google Das Export, TD Power, IOL Chemical, Panama Petrochem, Signity Tech and Lancer Container. Now you would be thinking if this is the 12th version of Ambit Capital portfolio, how did the 11 portfolios perform so far? So on the screen you can see that 10 bagger 1.0 was published in 2012 out of which 60% companies got retained in 10 bagger 2.0. Next year 36% companies moved to 10 bagger 3.0 and likewise the names got off the list and eventually in 10 bagger 12.0 only 8% companies managed to remain consistently in last 12 years of iteration. Likewise from 10 bagger 2.0 13% companies managed to be in all 12 iteration. In fact, in 10 bagger 8.0, none of the companies managed to be in 12.0 list. Clearly, it is getting difficult for companies to constantly implement the drivers of greatness. Some of the consistent constituents of 10 bagger portfolio include Nestle, Indalco, Abbott India, Page Industry, and Tata Alexi. So, one thing is very clear you can't have all the winners in your portfolio. Stocks that look amazing today can get hammered down in the future. But the idea here is, not to find all 10 out of 10 multibaggers or 20 out of 20 multibaggers. The idea is to identify great companies that fits into the criteria of expansion in ROCE. In this process, some companies will win and some might lose. But overall, the idea is to create a portfolio that beats the benchmark in the long term. Ambit Capital claims that out of last 11 iterations, their 10 bagger portfolio has posted 22% CGR return versus 15% return of BAC 500 excluding BFSI and 14% return from NSC 100. And sub BSC 500 10 bagger iteration posted 25% CGR return versus 14% for BSC small cap index excluding BFSI over the last 11 iteration. Overall, the idea behind discussing Ambit Capital 10 bagger portfolio is to understand the greatness framework that they use with ultimate focus on expansion in ROCE. And as discussed, they have created six step framework that can be a good way to build the multi bagger portfolio. Now tell me in the comment, what do you think about this framework? And do you hold any of the 10 bagger stocks in your portfolio? If you find this analysis useful and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then do consider subscribing to the channel for more such content. You can also click on the bell icon button to get the latest update of my videos. Also let me know if you want me to discuss any of the stocks or financial topics. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.